Ola, Izaka Chan, no Tatsumaki. And I'm here to review Coco, the movie Coco of 2017. I know I'm a, li I'm a little late to do it right now. Put that down because I can't play guitar. I'm a little late to review this movie now, but I just saw it a, a day, a few, day, few days back, and I just saw it, and I just had to tell y'all what I thought about it and what it is. Uh, spoiler alerts, just so you know. Uh, I saw it, and it was probably actually, it was a really heartwarming movie. It nearly got me misty that when I saw it. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I literally had tissues just thinking about it. But pretty much, uh... I saw it and it was really good. It was really heartwarming. It was really impactful. It really, you know, had my heart. Uh, you know, pretty much, uh, I'd be hearing some accounts that some people said it's probably one of the best movies of, uh, that came out in 2017. And, uh, may not, and half of those people I've seen, they may not be far from the truth. Uh, I thought it was really good. I, I, I really enjoyed it. It was visually impressive. It was really story driven. It was really even. It was actually really dark when it, uh, as far as uh, as far as uh, Disney movies goes. It was actually pretty dark and a lot of uh, into win into windows in them. Uh, it was really impactful. It was really good. It was really heartwarming. Uh, Really family oriented, despite his many dark uh, elements uh, split and split into it. Like uh, when, uh, uh, when I especially thought the part when the two musicians that were friends, one of them killed the other so he can take off his credit. Uh, I thought that part was good. Well, not good, but I thought it was like <gasps> really drastic. Like it actually really got to my heart a little bit. But I think. The most part that actually really got to me in an emotional level was when, uh, pretty much when, when when Miguel, the main character of the movie, was picking the pieces of uh, his his uh, great grandfather's murder and who's his grandfather really and the fact that he deserved all the credit and stuff. But uh, yeah, I thought it was really good. It was really it was really dark for for a Pixar movie, as I thought, and. Uh, uh, yeah, I would agree. It's probably one of the best movies of 2017. And, uh, probably one of the best animated movies of 2017. I thought it was really good. Uh, I, the first, I, I might have would have said Captain Underpants, and that's only because I literally saw my childhood book come to life as in a movie. But that's besides the point. Captain Underpants could have been the best movie of 2017 until I saw Coco. And Coco deserves that spot. I'm ending it with, it was exceptional, it was great, I loved it, it was fantastic, it got me, it was one of the first movies of Pixar, I got me Misty Dad. If I wanted Pixar's greatest movies, to be honest, that's coming out, aside from <clears throat> The Incredibles 2, but until then, until I see it, I'm going to have to say that's probably one of Pixar's best works, uh, aside from Ratatouille, but yeah, pretty much, that's all. Also, the way it go, uh, uh, Put a like, put a thumbs up, tell everyone about this channel, follow me on my Patreon account, it's on the link down below, and uh, that's about it, hasta luego.